You may have noticed in calculus class that your teacher uses a lot of different symbols all to represent the derivative of a function. So it might depend on which textbook you're using or the personal preferences of your teacher, or maybe your teacher just likes to shake things up because he or she wants to make sure that you're really flexible with which symbols you use and that you're not stuck on just one type of symbol for the derivative. So here we're just going to go through the main symbols that represent the derivative of a function in calculus, and there are some slight differences between these, but as far as calculus class is concerned, these are all considered just the derivative of a function. Okay, so let's say you start with a function called y equals f of x. Then there are seven equivalent symbolic nicknames for its derivative. There are others, but here are the most common ones. f prime of x, aka y prime, or you could call it dy dx, or you could call it df dx, or you could say d dx of f of x, so take the derivative of f of x, or you could say capital D of f of x, this is the differentiation operator, or you could say d sub x of f of x. And making it a little more concrete here, let's say that you have a function instead of y equals f of x, let's be specific, y equals 2x cubed plus 1. Then any of these could correctly describe the derivative of this function. So y prime equals 6x squared, f prime of x equals 6x squared, dy dx equals 6x squared, df dx equals 6x squared, d dx of 2x cubed plus 1 equals 6x squared, or either of these guys, the differentiation operator of 2x cubed plus 1 equals 6x squared, or d sub x of 2x cubed plus 1 equals 6x squared. So I hope that seeing all of these different representations for the derivative in one place will make you more comfortable with all the different ways that you can symbolically represent the derivative.